guys, Clyde here live from the Leechburg Lights uh, kitchen. Hey, uh, I just got home from work and I found this sitting on the porch. I started opening it up and I thought, well, what the hell, I'll do an unboxing for you. This here is, looks like, pretty good wrap job here. Um, the, one of the new, um, I believe these are the 36 channel dumb RGB controllers. Looks like we're gonna have to put the camera down because, or the phone down here because uh, I don't have enough hands to open this on my own. So hold on just a second. All right. So here we go. What do we see here? We see, looks like, a lot of bubble wrap here. I'll go ahead and put the other one out of the way. I got one of these here for myself. I plan on upgrading my um, arches, or my mega arch, let's put it this way. I plan on upgrading my Mega Arch this year to a uh, 12 channel DOM RGB. And pretty much there's about 20, maybe 25, maybe 30 nodes per uh, section. So it's not a real big uh, a bunch that's going to go on here. So I'm, I know that I'm only going to run 25 or 30 DOM RGBs that are about roughly 0.3 watts a piece so probably looking at 0.33 amps going through each uh going through each one of these individual little mosfets these aren't the standard mosfets that you'll find on the other uh, the 27 channel the 30 channel controllers these are the uh the i want to say a micro version let me get a little better picture there we go these are much smaller than that uh, it looks like the uh, board outputs are labeled. Uh, I'll put one, two, three, four, five, six in this manner. You got seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This looks like the one from upside down. So, so yeah, that's what it's looking like. Now, on this end of the board, we can see we've got we've got a good shot of the positive and the neutral entrance. Now, here we have two. RJ45 connectors. Uh, sadly, these are side facing mounts. And what that means is that if you have this in some sort of enclosure housing up against uh, the either the edge of the box or the power supply itself, it makes it very hard to get in here. Uh, you can go ahead and order from Mouser. I, uh, I ordered the actual RJ45 replacements that are top mount. It looks like on the back here you just need to desolder a couple points on here and you can do this on your own. And I've done this to other boards. You can desolder these uh, anchor points here in the front. These uh, small spacers that hold it in place just pop right off and then you desolder these uh, connections here. So this is a very simple modification that you can do on your own uh, using a little um, solder sucker upper thing. And uh, as far as the board layout goes, we've got a couple selector um, uh, switches here. We have obviously looks like they, uh, they just want to have fun. Uh, you just push the fun button. Boy, if only if it were that easy. Uh, and then we have mode. Obviously, this is probably some sort of um, uh, either either going to be a test mode or something. Uh, there doesn't happen to be any instructions in the box, and there's nothing wrapped up in the bubble wrap. So uh, it looks like we're going to have to depend on the uh, web page and the manufacturer or the seller on uh, Ally Express to give us instructions on exactly how to set this uh, LED-based uh, channel uh, display. To, uh, d uh, to set up our channel to the correct output. So it looks like there's a number of SMDs and there's probably set up in here somewhere. It looks like a pretty big processor. So I, I, I'd be, uh, I'd be I wouldn't be surprised to see a number of onboard available functions. So maybe what I need to do next is uh, get a couple dumb RGBs and connect them up here. So we'll see. I have um, 12 volts showing maximum 13 amps. So 13 amps, that's 
quite a significant amount, enough to do a test for, uh, I don't know, we've got 25, 50, this is 25, this is 50, so it's 75, here's 100, here's 170, and then probably another 50, so 120, or 220 dumb RGBs going on. What I've done was I go ahead and plug this in. It looks like we've got a status indicator light here, and this one here is, uh, is labeled as fun. If I turn, if I, uh, turn this board over here, uh, we can get a close-up of it. It says DMX fun. There we go, and uh, DMX, DMX uh, 512. So those are the two indicator lights that are on the board. And then here on the indicators, we can see we have a 0-9. So I imagine this is a 0 through 9 display uh, of different fun stuff that it can do. So the first button here, this is the DMX fun selector. And then these are the mode selectors for... Um, for the different, um, f whenever it is in fun, or I believe this is for the channel count uh, for setting the channel. So this looks like no dip switch is necessary. You just set the channel to what you want it to. So let's just go through the fun and uh, the fun. <laughs> let's do the fun here and see. So if we let, oh we got to go we got to plus one it. So whoops I plus one it too many times there. We've got all green, lime green. We've got dark green. We've got, looks like white or uh, high blue. This is blue. This is like a purple. And this is all white. And we've got back to red. And then we're switching. Now, obviously, the indicator's changed here. Now, I wonder if we hit the plus one, we'll select speed for us. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's, let's hit the minus. Okay, so we've got a strobe effect. We've got a chase effect between the colors, and that just that just sets the speed at which they flash. So you can see the indicator every time I push the button. This is the slowest that they can go. And then if I hit the other one, it doesn't look like this one's doing anything. An OP, I don't know what that means, but uh, and then mode, we can go here. And mode is basically, it looks like the same as this one looks like it fades. It looks like there's a lot of options here that we can really cycle through. Now I just put it, it just switched over into DMX mode and uh, it looks like this is really simple to set. So let's say I want to set this to uh, DMX channel number 270. I just hit the 100 increment button here. That gives me a two, or well, one. If you hold and it changes quickly. So I can go one, two, three, four, five. Let's say I want 270. So we've got this plus button for the tens. Uh, we'll push and hold. And I guess we could have gone the opposite way. But it looks like this is going to be very easy to set whenever it comes time to say, okay, I'm hooking this up with either Nutcracker or I'm hooking it up with LOR. doesn't matter. I'm going to set my channel to 270. That gives this first output here 270. Where's my pointer? 270, 271, 272, 73, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 81, and so forth. And the board will actually figure that out for you. What you can see here is here's your two, uh, your positive and your neutral. And here, the positives on this side, the neutrals on this side, neutrals on this side, that is. And you can see the neutrals go uh, right up to all of, through all of the MOSFETs because the neutrals run on the, uh, the tw uh, on the neutral side. The 12 volt runs right into only the uh, first pin on the screw terminals. So you can see that very clearly, like there, you can see it there, and you can see it there, that one, that one, that one. Let's see if I can clear up that picture a little bit. Okay. And, um, and it looks like they're connected, so you can't put, I, I highly recommend not putting two power supplies on here. Just connect one power supply with one hotline, and if you do need to, uh, if your power supply isn't able to handle the one amp 
her output on this board because this is a 36 amp board according to the website. I, I hope you enjoy the video guys. If you have any questions, if you, if you want to see something else on it, um, I think I hit everything pretty well. You definitely have uh, a, a lot of uh, nice options with the selector switches here. No more dip switch on this unit. I mean, that, that makes it a nice, uh, a nice little package. And I, I believe that this came out to be about $48 per controller. With free sh with the shipping, I think it was uh, I think it was third uh, forty two dollars and eight dollars shipping or six dollars shipping. I just I don't remember offhand. I'll have to uh, include that information down in the link below. So guys, let me know what you think. Uh, leave me a message down below, and if you have any questions, as always, get in touch with me through the Leechburg Lights webpage, or you can email me at uh, Clyde at Leechburg Lights at Gmail .com. So Leechburg Lights and also on the Facebook page. So look me up. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.